Okay, ladies and gentlemen, tonight's entertainment pleasure is Miracles in the Quran. And this comes from a group that I was on. I believe this is David Wood's, uh, one of his videos. Okay, and um, the guy mentioned that one of the miracles of the Quran was chapter 78, verse 7. And mountains as pegs. So basically, Allah is telling you and I that mountains have pegs. And the guy goes on to describe pegs are used to fix tents. That's true. They have some parts above the ground and other parts below the ground. Uh, so Quran correctly claims that mountains have parts below the ground. Ooh, wow, I am just flabbergasted. This subduction occurs in the uh, asneosphere, which turned out to be semi-molten melting in the transition from the solid state to a liquid state. Now, I don't know what the hell that has to do with pegs, okay? But I went and I did a search, okay, for, let's go pegs, okay, pegs, pegs of mountains. Uh, let's see what it says, okay. It's got all of these nice little things here, okay? I guarantee you they're all Islamic. What do we find here? Okay, we got one from uh, Answering Islam. Mountains is pegs. Muslim website. Muslim website. Muslim website. Muslim website. Okay, uh, another Muslim we website. Some Muslim is uh, posting in Cora. Okay. Now, what do scientists call these things? Do they call them pegs or do they call them roots? Oh, look at this. Uh, roots. Mountain roots. Roots of a mountain. Roots. Roots of mountains. Root, root. Roots of mountains. Notice that it's the Islamic sites that are talking about pegs. Okay, but the uh, science sites, okay, here's a university. Roots of a mountain. Okay, now is this a miracle, ladies and gentlemen? Did anybody know about mountains having roots before 1400 and something years ago when some illiterate guy named Muhammad dropped on in and gave us the holy quran you know the one that's full of holes that said that uh, allah revealed to him that mountains have pegs where i don't think there's one scientific paper one scientific book on geology that says mountains have pegs there's a difference between pegs and roots okay but you know i think i've seen that somewhere uh, I do recall in the Bible, there is a verse, Job, 20, uh, Job 20, 28, 9. He put it forth his hand upon the flinty rock. He overturned it the mountains by the roots. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Now, this guy tried to use some uh, translations that don't say roots, but I'm smarter than the average beer. So I've got all these uh, all these translations here. You got Bible and basic English, roots. You got the common English Bible, roots. Now, I will say there are some books or some translations that don't use roots, but the majority of them say roots. We got the common English Bible with the Apocrypha. We got the complete Jewish Bible. Look at that. It says roots. Now, the Hallman Christian Standard Bible, they say uh, foundations. The Darby says roots. The English Standard Version or the ESV says roots. Now the Good News Translation says base. The Good News Translation with Apocrypha says base. God's Word Translation says base. The Hebrew Names Version says roots. The Jubilee says roots. King James Version, of course, says roots. The King James Version with the Apocrypha says roots. The uh, Lexham English Bible says roots. The Septuagint Bible with the Apocrypha says roots. 
The Message Bible says uproot the mountains. Okay, eh, not quite, not quite what I was looking for. The New American Standard Bible says uh, overturns the mountain at the base. Okay. Uh, New Century Version. I've never heard of that one. Uh, miners hit the rocks of Flint and dig away at the bottom of the mountains. Okay, they totally left out the roots. Uh, base roots. The New King James Version roots. The New Living Translation roots. The New Revised Standard uh, roots. The New Revised Standard with Apocrypha roots. The Orthodox Jewish Bible uses the Hebrew words, which we we will get to. Uh, the whatever name Rams Catholic Bible says roots, but anyway, you get the idea that the majority of the translations use the word roots. Now let's pull up the Hebrew interlinearity, okay? And here we have verse nine, and we see the word here is this: at the roots, okay? This is eighty eighty three twenty eight. Now, if we go over here, I just happen to have it up because, you know, I'm very efficient. And when we have the name Shorash, a root. Okay, a root. Man, now, now it's making me think of root beer. Okay, the NA, NAS Exhaustive Concordance is root. Now, the uh, NASB, uh, it, it is used for base, deep root, depths, line, pretext, root, roots, and souls. The brown driver brakes roots, okay. Now these are all the uh, other biblical verses that have the words, and where you can see it's pretty much uh, uh, roots. You'll see heels and soles. The Strong's exhaustive concordance: uh, bottom, deep, heel, and root. Okay, so the word does happen to, to mean uh, root, okay? Now, the Quran, as you saw, uses a peg. So let's go over here, okay? Now, when the Quran wants to use, when Allah wants to use the word root, there is a word. And I, you know, I took the opportunity and I did a search for the word root. So this pulls up anything that has the word root in it, whether it's root or roots. And here we see the different words that are being uh, given for root. Okay, now if we go look over here, and here's pegs and stakes. So basically this word here, you know, the A-W-T-A-D-I or the A-W-T-A-D, Okay, uh, it means stakes, stakes, pegs. So as you can see, if Allah wanted to say root, which would be the correct geological word for it, he could have gone over here and used one of these. But he didn't. Okay, and as I showed you before, these are all the websites. Is a, geolo a geological science website. It's an EDU. So it's an education. And I believe it's in Wisconsin. Okay. I uh, don't know what this is doing here. We really don't care. And this was for something else. Somebody was trying to tell me that the word sperm is in the Quran, which is BS. Okay. So Basically, what exactly is so miraculous about the Quran saying that mountains have pegs when nobody, no scientist, no one with two brain cells that's taken a science class or a geology class would ever say that mountains have pegs? But yet Allah says pegs because, you know, the almighty Allah obviously doesn't know the Arabic, and I guess in the 7th century, they didn't have a word for root. But yes, yes, ladies and gentlemen, Hebrew has a word for root. And I do believe that the, um, that the Old Testament came way before Islam. 
So is this a miracle? I asked you. And my response is, hell no, it's not a miracle. It's just copying from what already existed. And the Bible uses the correct terminology, roots, not pegs, not stakes. So on this note, I will say, please like, subscribe, and we'll do it again. Until then, alhamdulillah.